So, you know, I, I grew up in the church. Um, I grew up, you know, going to primary, doing like all of those like, you know, basic things, you know, going to church, reading the scriptures with my family, doing all those kinds of things. And there came a point in time when I was, when I was about 14 years old that I guess you could say I almost had like my own, my own kind of like Joseph Smith experience, you could say. I wanted to know what church was true because I wasn't too sure. I, I, was spect- I was like, you know, like I grew up in this, in this church and I'm like, maybe there's other churches. I just like didn't, didn't know what was right. And so I decided to, to pray and to ask God which church was true to just sincerely ask him. And so when I, when I knelt down one, one night, um, I said a, the most sincere prayer I've ever said in my, my entire life up to that point. And I just said, God, like, is this true? Like, is this what, what you want me to do? Is this, is this the right path for me? Is, is the Book of Mormon true? Is the gospel really restored back on the earth? Um, and I didn't get an answer. And I was, I was kind of frustrated, to be honest with you. I was frustrated that I didn't receive this answer. I thought maybe I could receive no answer right there. Like, oh, all of a sudden I know it's true. But, but the feeling that I did get is I had this feeling to, to read the, the Book of Mormon. I've never read, I'd never read it all the way through before. Um, and so I decided, I was like, you know, okay, that's what I'm going to do. I need to read the Book of Mormon, and then I'm going to ask God. And so that's what I did. I, I made this goal to read the Book of Mormon in about three months. And so I remember as I read the Book of Mormon, it brought a lot of peace into my life. I, couldn't, I can't explain why or how, but just as I read the words, just like there's peace just filled my heart. And that really, really strengthened me and really helped, helped me out through those times, through, through, that, through those years. And, and I remember when I finally gained my, my testimony of, of the truthfulness of the Book of Mormon, it was, on, it was on New Year's Day night, and I, just, I was finishing up the Book of Mormon. I was reading in Moroni chapter 10. And my favorite scripture in all the Book of Mormon, Mor- Moroni chapter 10, verse 32, where Moroni He's wrapping up, he's saying these last words, and he says, Yea, come unto Christ and be perfected in him, and deny yourselves of all ungodliness. And that, that really impacted me right there, is that I needed to come unto Christ, and it was, and I needed to deny myself of, of, of those things, of the things of the world. And I was just filled with, with the Spirit, just this warmth, comfort feeling. And that's what changed me right there. From that point on, I was like, you know, I know. I know this is true, and I and I can't go back, and that's what that's what drove me to to serve a mission, to to do the things that that I have been involved in with my church. I'm very grateful for the testimony of the Book of Mormon, and and I know that that the Book of Mormon is true, and that if if you truly put it to the test, you know, if you truly ask God, He will He will tell you the truth because God does love all of His children. I know that to be true, and He wants all of His children to return to Him, and I'm very grateful for for the Book of Mormon and for this gospel and for the blessing that it has been in my life.